Okay, I just picked up another brand new Phantom Firebird because uh, I just wanted to have a few extra spare parts, and it was cheaper to actually uh, to actually buy the Phantom uh, already uh, assembled like this. So I'm going to show you really quickly again my quick tune-up tips to beef this baby up a little bit. Batteries, I get an extra battery, an extra charger too, so that's kind of nice to have. So, uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and work on the on the tail first. Okay, first thing you want to do is take the screw and unscrew this off of here, like so. And simply move this down to this hole and screw that back in. Making sure everything remains level here. And then just tweak it down a little bit, not too tight, so that everything is tight. Now we want to do the same thing to the other side. Unscrew this. this in the lowest hole, closest hole to the elevator. That gives you the most throw. And screw that back on. Do one, but line everything up so it's all straight and level again. Tighten this down. Good. Okay, now, next thing you want to do is take your dikes and cut these off. I've actually had this thing go down and that wire stick in there in flight so just simply cut these off. Okay we're going to beef up the tail back here now too so I'm going to take about six inch piece of tape and I'm going to actually cut off about a little more than an inch of that to make a strip about this size. Okay and now I'm going to slip it under the shaft here, grab it so it's centered, and lay this down evenly on both sides, just like that. So we have some strapping tape on the bottom. Okay, next I'm going to take a piece of carbon fiber rod. This stuff is very, very strong, and I'm going to put it right on top of this fuselage here. And I'm actually going to use my amazing goop. Just going to put a drop here and a drop right here. Take the rod, simply put that on like that. Now I'll take some black tape, grease tape, run this through here like this. Tighten that down. Want a good tight fit here. And make sure not to connect it to the rods which are coming out on the top. Just simply wrap the tape around on the bottom. All the way around nice and tight. Now, take another little bit of amazing goop, put it right here. It's also making a good landing gear skid. Wet my finger and smooth this out a little bit. And we're good to go. Next, take a real good look at your decals. Now, if you see here, this thing is bubbled up, so you want to get under there with something and from the inside out, push these decals that may have come loose in the shipping down onto the wing nice and smooth so be careful with it and because this is important to keep your airfoil smooth so the air flies over the top of this very nicely check on the other one on this side this side looks pretty good okay we're good to go there okay 
I'm going to put tape on the bottom, strapping tape, because in high G's, the wing could snap. So what I do is we always put a, a good strong tape on the bottom of the wing. And that's pretty easy to do too. Take my clear tape, cut a piece about the right length, hold it above, all the way from both ends, and very gently set it down on top of the wing, pulling slightly on both sides. Then from the center out, very gently work this so you get absolutely no bubbles in there. And that came out very nicely. Next, you just want to cut a little bit off of each wing tip so that it does overlap. I like it to overlap on the top. It protects the wing tip. So I just take a razor blade like that, cut it, hold that around like that. We're good to go. This side is already about the right size, so I'm just going to fold that around there just like that. Okay. So that takes care of the wing on that part. Next, right here, I always like to put a little extra tape where the rubber bands go. Now there are newer versions of the Firebird actually have a better piece of plastic here, but I'm going to uh, still put a uh, another piece on here, just very gently fold that around like that. That takes care of the trailing edge. Now we want to do the leading edge the same way. Take a small piece of tape right over the top. Just like that. Now, if you're susceptible to hitting the wingtip's leading edge, it doesn't hurt to take a piece of tape, put right here, just like this, to protect that leading edge when you're landing. One on this side. The next thing I like to do is right inside here, you'll see the battery plug plier is on the side that has the servo gear down in there. And I like to take this out and put it on the other side of that wire. Okay, see now the gears, the wires don't hit the gear on the servo and you can see the little gear on the servo in there. And so that's one of the main reasons that I wanted to get this wire out of the way. Okay, some of these decals don't stay on on the leading edge and if the wing gets under it in flight, it really slows it down. So I'm taking also another piece of tape and putting this on the leading edge. And of course, I like to take my uh, fluorescent colors and mark up my wing tips. And so uh, I just put a piece of paper towel here and uh, just spray this like this. Just to make it a little easier to see in the sky. And there you have it. So now we've got a plane with red and green wing tips. Okay, just want to push the propeller on so it's just not all the way on because it'll hit those screws. And just enough that it's on so it doesn't fly off. Check it out. Okay, charge the battery. Just connect this thing on. It's a little hard to see the connector, uh, but the one with the notch is where that goes. Clip that on like that. When you do, the red light starts blinking on your charger, and I always have the dial set for the lowest rate. That gives you the best charge. Okay, next, you want to tie your ribbon on to your antenna. This is, acts as a wind indicator because you always want to take off into the wind. And uh, what I do is I just tie a knot on there, then I take a little flame and uh, heat up each end of this thing so that they don't fray. And we're good to go now. I've now got a pair. Hey, I wonder if I could hook the two together and fly it. <laughs> and come on, you guys. Read the manual. Hobby Zone went to a lot of trouble to show how this airplane works and to be explained. And if you understand the manual and you actually watch this CD that they give to you also, you won't have any trouble in flying. You wouldn't jump into a real airplane or helicopter and think you could fly without lessons. So if you're going to do it with this, at least read the manual. Okay? And good luck.